Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my weekly grocery haul. Um, hopefully this week I'll have time to edit my um, meal, another video, so other than grocery hauls because I feel that's all I've been putting up lately so I'm really trying to get around that. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see what I got this week, I did get a few um, different things than I usually get. So I'm going to quickly show you what my meal plan is and then we'll get into my grocery haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you hadn't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into it. Okay guys, so here is my, um, like my meal board that I have pretty much right next to my kitchen. So everyone knows what we've got for the week. Um, so today, tonight we're going to have pizza and garlic bread, so I had to pretty much buy everything for that. Um, oh, I did have pizza sauce, but yeah, other than that, oh, and I've got cheese. So yeah, other than that, I had to get pizza bases, garlic bread, more ham, salami, all the toppings. So yeah, had that. Friday, I have everything for that um, from last week, so that's just fry up, so pretty much um, deep fryer, fish, chips, nuggets, all the good stuff. Um, the hubby wanted a roast chicken, but he didn't want to buy one. He wants to actually roast it himself. So I went and bought a roast chicken. It is. It seems like it's actually more, costs more to roast your own chicken than to buy like a like a, a barbecue chicken already cooked. But oh well, we'll have a go at that. And I've also got some potato bake, so I got some more potatoes um, to make that. Sunday we're gonna have chicken burgers and chips. So I already had chips and I already had the patties. I just had to, well actually I didn't get any buns but I'll get that on Sunday just so that they're a bit fresher. I kind of like it like that. I know someone suggested to freeze but I'm probably gonna be at the shops anyway so I might as well just grab them. Um, Monday I've got sausage and mash. So I do have packet mix in the cupboard. I've got some was it deviled sausages and curried sausages? So I thought I'd use that. And since I've got some um, potatoes from Saturday, I'll just do some mash um, with that. Tacos. So I still have um, a bunch of taco mixes from the other week that I stocked up. So I just had to get some mints. And then Wednesday we have hot dogs and chips. So I just I had to get um, the hot dogs and the buns. So. That is my week, so I'm going to show you what I got in my haul. Okay guys, so here is everything in its glory. So this week I spent, where's my list? So I spent 269 So because it, I got a $4.40 refund back for the weight of the chicken I think it was. Um, it was only 269 so let's round up to say 270 so I think I got quite a bit for $270 so pretty happy um, so yeah let's get into it so that my cold stuff can go back in the freezer and fridge so here is the infamous chicken so it was 1490 for almost two kilos so I guess it's a bit I don't know is it bigger than the other ones that you get already cooked I have no idea and they're I think usually about 10 or so dollars so I think it's actually dearer to buy your own but you get the pleasure of actually knowing that you've cooked your own chick cooked your own chook so let's see how we go on Saturday um, I got a few deli meats so I got some shortcut bacon I got some twiggy sticks or salami sticks which the boys have in their lunches and then I also got some ham. So I already have some ham in the in the fridge, but because we're doing pizza tonight, I wanted to have some extra ham. Also for the pizza, I got this mild salami. So it's just these um, slices here. So I'll just cut them up and um, yeah, that'll be for the pizza. Also for the freezer, I got these, um, these steam fresh fish. So there's two parcels in here and you just, um, it's got two pieces of fish with this yummy sauce. Um, and you just throw it in the microwave. So I find it's good um, to have that. And then I got this um, cauliflower here. Uh, it says it serves four, but I'd probably have, I reckon, almost all of it, if not half. 
Um, so that's probably two meals here that I could probably take these to work and just eat it like that. So yeah, there is some of that. And then I got a kilo of the lean mint. So this is for the boys. So one will be for taco night. Um, and the other one, I don't think I need the other one. So I'll probably just put that in the freezer. So just as a backup, maybe for next week. Also got some sausages. So that's for one of our meals this week, either the curried sausages or deviled sausages. And I just got the, um, the 24 pack, which is $9. So it was cheaper to buy it like this than to get individual packs. And then I can just um, break them up into packs of eight. So that's um, three dinners. So then I'll put the, the rest of them in the freezer. Also got these um, Jamie Oliver crispy garlic chicken fillets. So what I actually do is I don't actually use the crumb and I just cook the chicken just in the, um, the flavoring that it's already got. And that is, um, I actually, this is actually what I started off doing keto with, it was these. Um, it's actually pretty good macros without the, um, the crumb. So there's a handy hint. So yeah, I'll cook them up, put them with some veggies or something, and then that I'll put them in the freezer or put them in the fridge to eat during the week. Also got some garlic bread. So we're doing pizza tonight. So garlic bread is a must. I've got some yogurts here for my youngest. He still has them in his lunchbox. Also got some hot dogs. So these are the ones we have, just the skinless ones. Hot dogs are so gross, like to see how they're made, but you know what? They are so delicious and the boys love them. And that's usually what we have on Wednesdays just because that's when I have touch football. So it's just easy for the hubby just to throw them on and, and keep going. Okay, on to our produce. So I've got some lettuce. So Always good to have lettuce. I like to have taco bowls and salads, so it always needs lettuce on hand. Got some bananas, so these ones are a little bit green, which I like, just so that they last that little bit longer. Got the um, potatoes, so these ones are good for mashing, they reckon. So we'll see how we go with them. So because we have um, sausages and mash, I think it was, and then I was also gonna do a potato bake, so got a two kilo of them. Needed some more onions, so I grabbed a bag of on, uh, white onions. Uh, that's for like, we, we add onion to a lot of things like taco meat, to um, the sausage dishes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I got some Roma tomatoes, just so that, um, yeah, we have them in our salads. Also got an extra zucchini. Um, I have a... Um, a red onion in the cupboard and I thought maybe I could do I've seen people do like a kind of like a fry up a red onion and zucchini and have it like that so I thought that might be something interesting I could have as a side got some cauliflower but this is so pitiful I think this was like four dollars or something for this little teeny tiny cauliflower that'll barely do me one meal so they need to beef it up on the cauliflower I think must be out of season, I don't know, but yeah, not cool. Um, I got a couple of my creams, so these are what I have with my drinks, um, so my coffees and hot chocolates and anything to do with keto. Um, yeah, so I got two of them. I got some more sour cream, so this is the, the regular one, so it's nice and fatty for me. I got this um, kombucha, raspberry and lime, so it's low in sugar, so hoping Yep, so less than one gram of carbon sugar, so um, I thought I'd just try that one out um, as like just a quick drink. Um, some more cheese slices, so I got these ones this time, they're a little bit more expensive, but I think I like the taste of these ones better. They're just like a quick snack, just have a slice of cheese. Also got some um, more block cheese, so you can grate this, or we have it on our, um, the boys have it on their ham and cheese toasties. So yeah, eat heaps of cheese. Smarter white milk. So this is the milk we get. It's like a 2%. So last week I got a three and a two liter. And so they lasted till today. So that was really good timing. So um, I got another three and a two liter. So hopefully that should last the whole week and we shouldn't have to go and get milk during the week. Um, I also got some more of these no shoe sugar, um, sugar free donuts um, in the birthday cake flavor. It is actually so yum. It's like a chocolate donut with um, cake 
frosting kind of sprinkles. It's delicious. Just just try it. It's, it's obviously not like a normal donut. It's a bit thick, a uh, bit um, uh, more, bit more dense. Um, but yeah, really yummy as an option. Hot ro hot dog rolls for hot dog night on Wednesday. And then I got four loaves of bread this week because we actually did run out of bread again. So back to school, the boys are pretty much eating half a loaf of bread just on their own each day. So yeah, I got um, four loaves, which hopefully should last us. Also needed some more cereal. So this is the cereal we get. It's actually quite good um, with regards to sugar. So that's a, a pretty good option, I think. Some more beef noodles. So this is a pack of six and it was for six dollars. So a dollar for one, one thing of noodles. So it's like one of these noodle cups. So that was good. Um, some more apples. The boys have apples in their lunches. If they don't eat their apple, they don't get dessert. So yes. I got these little baby cucumbers. Um, I thought maybe I could use them as dipping or just as a quick snack, something like that. And got some blueberries. Um, so hopefully they're nice and yummy for a snack. So you can have like a few when you're on keto, but they they say not to eat too many. So I might even try and make a smoothie or something. Got some free range eggs. So um, yeah, I usually like to have up some boiled eggs. Um, in the fridge just as a quick snack or uh, on the weekend I do like to have bacon and eggs scrambled eggs for breakfast slash lunch the hubby needed some more cream biscuits so these are the ones we get sometimes um, I'll get the other like non name brand but um, yeah got them got him the good brand this week um, I've got some of these pizza bases so I got two packs so it's four pizza bases so um, we'll do extra pizza bases, uh, pizzas so that um, we can have them as leftovers for Friday or for in the boys lunch also got these mission wraps so these ones um, they say light they're they're not too bad um, still not good for keto but um, yeah the hubby likes to have them instead of tacos well he has a wrap instead instead of a, a shell yeah uh, moving on I got some more of this um, pasta sauce so this is a sauce that I use it's really good macros so um, it's the lowest one that I've been able to find so it's 4.1 grams of carbs and sugar um, most of the ones that I see are like around the five or six so yeah um, got that so that's for four serves yeah four serves for that one so that one's a good one. Um, yeah, I think I've got some mints in the fridge. So I, or I, even if I don't, I'll just leave it in there for when I do. Uh, I got two of these Atkins iced coffees. So I like to just throw them in the fridge. And then if I don't have time to make a hot coffee or just feel like an iced coffee in the morning, I'll grab that one. Got some more zipper dupers. It's getting quite hot here in Townsville. So the boys are going through these quite a lot. They weren't on particularly on special, but so I just got one pack. When they are on special, I'll grab a bunch because I know that we'll use them. Got some salted pretzels, so the boys have been having these in their lunch. I know it's not the best option, but I thought it's it's not too bad. Um, so just like I guess give them like a small handful um, in their lunch boxes. Also got another couple of bags of chips. So um, yeah, I like to get them for the boys every now and then. Um, just for movie nights as such. Got some gummy bears. So I saw these and I was like, yep, let's get them. So gummy bears, um, eat them by themselves. I, sometimes I make up a rocky road and I use these as the kind of jelly um, in the rocky road. So that's a good one. Got some taco spice. Um, I just like to have this in the fridge. I know I have a lot of mixes, like the full packets. But um, I use these for when I'm making my taco mints. I think I'm right for taco mints at the moment. But just like to have it on hand just in case I need it for whatever reason. Also got some of this mashed potato it's, um, called Deb. So it's just like the instant potato. It's like a powder. You add milk and butter and water and it just turns into a potato mash. Um, so yeah, I like to have them on hand in case we need them instead of making real mashed potato. 
Up the back here, I've got a whole plethora of drinks. So I got some ginger ale. I was actually having a craving for ginger ale yesterday. And um, so I thought I'd get some. The hubby drinks that as well. Also got some sugar-free drinks. I got the um, creaming soda and the lemon squash, just as mixes um, for my vodka. Got some juice for the boys for having with their dinner slash breakfast when we let them. And then last but not least, I got some cordial. So the hubby likes to have cordial at work and these were on special, so I grabbed a couple of cordials. So, and yes, that's my sad looking Valentine's Day flowers. They're so sad, they were so pretty, but yes, unfortunately they're not so pretty now. But yes, that is my groceries for this week. Um, yeah, I think I did pretty good. I got a few different things like the, the chicken and the pizza. Doing a bit different this week. Potatoes, not something that I eat, but the hubby and the boys eat. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Um, as I said, I'm really trying to get something up different this week other than a grocery haul, so keep an eye out for that. Um, if you like this video or is something that you'd like to know about, oh actually, um, so this week I did pick up again. I was almost going to do delivery because there was a, um, a code for $15 off, I think it was. But just be careful of the, um, the delivery fee. So the more you spend, I think it's, if you spend more than $300, you can actually get delivery for free. But under that, it's kind of like a, a scale of how much you pay. So um, there is a code on the website for um, $15 off your delivery. There's also a code for um, your first pickup. So I think it was pickup 10, I think, something like that. I couldn't use it because obviously I, it wouldn't be my first pickup. So um, yeah, I didn't have any, voucher, any codes this week, but that's okay. I still saved money. Um, I use my everyday rewards card and I use shop back so pretty much every week I get at least five dollars um, sometimes it's usually about 1.5 or 2 percent cash back um, of course you don't get it straight away it's probably about two or three months later you do um, but yeah I've cashed out so much money um, I actually cashed out another thirty dollars yesterday so I usually once it gets up to a particular point like a I don't know, 20, 30 dollars, I kind of cash it out. But my first cash out, I think it was like a hundred dollars when I realized I actually had enough to cash out. So yeah, check out Shopback. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in getting free money because that's what it is. It's free money. All you have to do is when you check out, check out through the, the you just kind of, I've got mine on my desktop so that when it recognizes that there's a, a store like an online store that has shop back it'll automatically say do you want to activate the shop back and it just does it automatically you can also do it through your phone um, through the app but you have to go through the app but it'll usually take you to the website of the store so like say you're going to boohoo or iconic or Woolworths you go through the shop back app and then it takes you to the website of the store so, super easy. Um, so yeah, free money, love it. Okay, thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye.